I don't know how to make this. At all. Uh, and I really, really hate it when YouTubers say, like, oh, Guys, this... This... <laughs> this is the hardest video I've ever had to make. I've tried filming this, like... Like, like 20 times, and, and I just... I just can't do it. But you know what, like, this is actually genuinely quite hard. Because I'm dead excited. I'm really, really excited about this thing that I'm about to tell you about. But I just, I can't help but feel like some people are going to be skeptical. So let's get the exciting, awesome stuff out of the way, and then we'll have a little chat. So, yes, you can already tell by the description, I'm writing a book. Emma Blackery is coming out with a book. That is something that you probably wouldn't have heard me say a year ago? Maybe two, well definitely two years ago. It's called Feel Good 101. It's an advice book with lots of essays from my life. It's basically gonna be the book that I wish I had as a kid. And I know, oh god, I know that's cliche and I know it's cheesy. Oh, I wish I had this growing up, but no really, I do. That's, that's the whole aim of me writing this. I want to write something that I wish I had. And it's so far been about five or six months of, of just intensive labor writing this thing. Every single word, but it's, it's going good. In fact, I'll show you, because I already know, you guys, you're skeptical. I can continue. It goes on. Feel Good 101, September 7th, worldwide, hopefully. We're working very hard to make sure it's out in every country at the same time. And I, ah, oh, okay, I'm writing a book. It's, it's out there now, you can pre-order it in the links below, should you wish to. No one is obliged to, you don't have to do anything. But if you wish to, the links are down there. So let's talk a little bit about why, okay, first off, why? Second of all, why now, right? Like, yeah, Emma, I want not made to change your mind. Not true. So I made a video about this back in September, might have been October, um, and it was about the fact that I changed my mind about YouTube books. I used to say that YouTubers who released books were ripping off kids, and they were pandering to kids, and making them feel like they had to buy this book, and that it was vapid excuses for content. You know, I used to, I really, really, I, I, I spat a lot of venom, and I burned a lot of bridges, I upset a lot of people, uh, I apologise, and I think I apologise in the video that I made in September, so basically, um, what happened was, I took my sister, who was eight years old, okay, I took my eight year old sister shopping, and we went into a bookshop that sold magazines and all this stuff, and she saw a magazine, and she pointed at it, and she went, Emma, look, that's Zoella! And I looked at her, and I was just like, how do you know who Zoella is? Turns out that she watches more YouTube than I do, and it's my job. So, and she also, she, she, she watches every video I do, including my gaming channel, which no one watches. She knows who Zoe is, Alfie is, Felix is, Marcus, Jack is, uh, Luke, Connie, uh, all of my friends. She knows who all of them are, and apparently everyone in her class does too. Um, but what really surprised me was the happiness that was on her face when she saw a YouTuber on a, on a magazine, right? And, and up until this point, like, I, I really hated the whole YouTube culture thing, even though I was a part of it, but when that happened, I realized that, you know what, if a book you know, pieces of paper that are just bound together, if that makes a kid happy, not even a kid, like if it makes one person, like you, happy, then there is no harm in it. There's, it doesn't, it doesn't contribute anything negative, you know? Um, it gives publishers more money to uh, publish more books from new authors. That argument that people say, oh yeah, other people could have got published and not you, that's rubbish. That's absolute rubbish, believe me, I talk to publishers now. Ha, <laughs> I talk to publishers. But it, it can only be a good thing. No one is forced to buy it, you know? Um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing this whole thing where like, you can only read about it in my book. Um, but you don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy any YouTube book. And it just, the only thing it does is make someone happy. It entertains them, or educates them, or inspires them. And, and I like to think that a good YouTube video, at least, does one of three things. Either entertains, educates, or inspires. I don't know if my book is going to do any of those. I really hope so, but you don't know. 
Um, so anyway, right, I'm waffling a bit. Uh, I made a video about it, uh, talking about why I now think that I was wrong, and the day later, I got an email from Little Brown, who are a publisher in the UK, and also they have, like, offices around the world, um, and it was a lady called Hannah, and she emailed me saying, we have waited for you to make this video for years, because it turns out that everyone at Little Brown watches my videos, even my second channel, where this video was, and they love what I have to say, and they, they've always wanted me to write a book for them. Um, so, after a couple of meetings, a couple of outings, I realised that, that this, this is perfect. Uh, I already had a publisher that really cared, you know, they actually just wanted this book, this thing that I'm creating, to be the best thing that it possibly can be. And I, I honestly, I am really, really excited for it. People change their minds on things. Uh, and like I said, you can, you can watch the video which I made back before I got a book deal. People can change their minds about things. So, that's what I did. And then a publisher came to me and went, yes! Yeah! Anyway, um, so why now, right? I know I just said that, like, you know, I changed my mind, etc. But, I had actually been offered a book deal before, in the past, a couple of years ago, by a different publisher. And this was around the time when YouTuber books became a thing. You know, when, like, everyone started doing it, right? Um, I, I turned it down for a couple of reasons. Number one, because I didn't feel like the publishers cared about me or who I was. They didn't really know who I was. They saw me, they saw my YouTube, they saw money. And I wasn't really comfortable with that. And uh, second, it didn't feel like the right time. I didn't feel like, you know, I had enough to say or anything of merit. Because if I did, then I would have made it, right? But I, I sat down myself and went, am I in a position where I could write something that matters? You know, I, I don't want to be that pretentious and say, this book matters, but like, I feel like I'm in a good place and I've learned a lot now, you know, I'm becoming an adult. I'm, I'm 25 and I'm still becoming an adult and I've learned so, so much and I've made so many mistakes in my life and I feel like I'm finally in a good place where I'm, I'm old enough and mature enough to, to put it all down and talk about, you know, how I've learned from my mistakes and what I would do differently and... <sighs> I'm really, really excited for it, and um, I also, I also kind of wanted to wait a little while, um, just because YouTube books, like I said, became a thing, and I don't know how this is going to come across, but believe me when I say it, uh, I mean it in a positive way, I didn't want my book to be just another YouTube book. Does that make sense? You know, it would just be on the same table as like a hundred other people and it would just get lost, and I'm, I'm treating this book, this advice book, like a legacy, and I, I, God, like, I hate myself saying that word, but I'm writing this for my sister, really. Yes, I could sit down and I could talk to her about everything in the book, and I plan to, but I'm gonna have something physical that she, and you guys, if you wanted to, can refer to, Something physical you can hold in your hand, and I can say that I made that, I wrote that. I'm, I'm taking this seriously, and I, I want it to be a, a really good, I'm trying, I'm trying not to swear, because I don't know if I'm allowed to swear. Um, I'm trying to make it a really good book. And I think I'm on the right track, I really do. So, the links are down below if you want to have a peruse, again. You're not obligated to, but this is something that has been in the works for a good few months and I'm so excited that I finally get to tell you I am writing a book! <sighs> okay, um... I really do I, I didn't plan an ending. Thanks for watching. Oh, now I have to actually write the damn thing! <laughs>